How's it going, everyone? So I dragged out this dusty, rusty old bitch of a beast. And that's kind of what you want to have, okay? I, did, I brought this out specifically, not because I'm going to hook it up at any time shortly, that I even really care if I hook the thing up and make it work. It don't matter. This is how it works. <laughs> I'm busy building these things, but I had to take a break because, you know, I, I can only go at something so long and I got to take a damn break. My mind gets bored. All right, anyways, uh, I pulled this beast out, and this is a 10 to 1. So this was actually a transformer out of an RV power system. So it took, this was the battery charger part of it. It took in the, two, the 110, could be 220, could be 600 or 800 volts, you know, whatever the, before the dielectric breaks down in here. But it's enameled wire, it's going to last a while. Uh, but anyways, uh, this is an, a center tapped AC transformer, right? Uh, low voltage. This was the low voltage 12 volt side. This was the 120 side, a 10 to 1 reduction. So we're going to just take this. It's already built for 60 cycles. We're going to run this on something like, well, probably 10 times. I don't know, maybe even 1200 volts. We'll see what that little resonant rod I'm designing puts out. This will be the high sides without the the midpoint so you, you we don't have to tap the center tap of the driver I mean we don't have to I do that so that I can split the load and and you know half and half and it's evenly balanced but we can take the high sides together and if I put one of those restrictor uh, bucks in front of it then we can limit the current so we won't blow the damn thing up so uh, basically you're gonna put high voltage into here or semi high voltage uh, out of that, you're going to put a resistor across the pair of these, right? You're going to want to experiment with the resistor to match it for the 60 cycles you want, right? I don't know the resistance right now, but I can tell you right now it's not going to change. <laughs> so once that's discovered, well then, great. And uh, here you have massive amperage wires at 120 volts. Like, and I mean massive. Let me just show you. So... Look at those damn wires, man. Now, you know how many amps I can pull out of that? I don't, like, you know, if I know I can put out 1,200 volts at up to 10 amps from that over unity design, then as long as these wires can handle that, which I'm sure they can, right? Then this is going to handle that. Then you're going to have massive amps from that little wee portable toy I just showed you. Have a great day.